Hello, my name is Steve Ryan. I'm a ceramic artist in Quincy, Illinois, and I'd like to show you today my submission for the 2020 Mary S. Oakley Lee Lindsay Artist Showcase. It's called The Shrouds. I started on it about two years ago. I saw a video online, and it was a video of an abortion doctor testifying before Congress. If you Google abortion doctor testifying before Congress, it'll pop up if you choose to look at it. Now, he was actually explaining the actual procedure. Now, I'm going to spare you the details of how they dismember an unborn child, but I do need to tell you about part of it, which is basically the last part, which is the removal of the head. They use a tool, and they crush the skull, and they remove the head. And this doctor says sometimes when you're removing the head, the face will be looking at you. And that image, that image of a bodiless face, being removed from the womb of its mother really struck me. I think a lot of you know I've used baby faces in my work for years. Typically it's always been about hope and the future and this really changed that for me. And uh, so anyhow, what can I do about this? You know, I can't stop this. This is a legal procedure in the United States. I can't make uh, the doctor stop doing this. Can't make the women stop making this choice. But what I can do is this. So what I've done is I took that bodiless face and I wrapped them in funeral shrouds. I've adorned them with objects and I've prayed for them. But the most important part and what this piece really is about, it's about that I have acknowledged them. I have acknowledged them as living beings deserving of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, the great American promise. Now this, this piece isn't, this isn't about I, I was pro-abortion all my life, and then I saw this video and got struck by lightning. That's not the story. I've always been pro-life, just never said anything about it. I've been quiet. Talked to my family and my close friends about it, but other than that, I had. You know, I've always, I've been wanting to be an artist for a long time, and I want my work to be seen and accepted. And, and my fear was that, uh, well, some people on the other side of this issue don't appreciate a different opinion and they'll ignore you or delete you or cancel you. So I really kept quiet about it. And uh, that's the part that kind of bothers me a bit that I cared more about my artwork than I did my conscience. But uh, well, I just can't be quiet anymore. So let's look at the pieces a little bit. They're made out of stoneware. It's actually paper clay. Uh, I've been using paper clay in my work for the last couple of years. I let you do a little bit of a lot of stuff that you just can't do with some of the wrappings and you can really make it look like material, fiber, cloth, leather. Uh, so they're, they're made out of paper clay. There's approximately 84 in, in this show. There's, I don't know what you call this thing here, but it's, it's about eight foot long. It's two foot wide and the pieces go all the way around. It. And that's how I wanted it presented. I wanted it to be this endless circle. This around and around we go, where it stops, nobody knows. And I wanted to overwhelm you a bit with, with the amount of pieces here. Uh, if you, you look at them, you, you can kind of tell some, some look like they're, this one looks like he was just wrapped in a burlap bag. There's kind of a cross section of, of America here. I mean, there's male and female, and there's rich and there's poor. This one looks like it was wrapped in a dirty diaper. There's brown, black, and white ones. And you can't really talk about abortion America without talking about black Americans. They're approximately 13% of the population of the United States, but yet they're represented at almost 40% of abortions every year. You know, do black lives matter? I don't know. It appears not all of them do. Uh, this piece, too, is actually a series. Uh, when I originally come up with the concept, I figured it would take me about 100 to cover this wall. So I don't know whether it's going to make 100 or 200 or whatever. But in doing my research uh, on abortion, I, I saw that the last year that there were actual numbers for abortion in America was 2015. And there were 638,169. And so that's what I've done. I've made this piece 638,169. Right. Here. This is number 45. 638,169. Now I know all my friends are going, there's no 
way in heck he's ever going to make 638,169. And you're correct. There's no way I can. If I spend every minute, of every moment of the rest of my life creating these, I will not be able to make as many as they destroy in one year. And that again, I, I want to overwhelm you with the numbers. I want the amount of pieces and the around and around. I want you to be overwhelmed by the numbers. That's pretty much my spiel. I do have to thank a couple people and then I'm going to get out of the way and we're going to come in and take a little bit closer look at the, the piece and some of the individual pieces. I need to thank the Quincy Art Center. Thank you. I, I, I was working alone for years, came in here about 10 years ago, and oh my God, you know, it, 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 what you've done for me, you've made me a better artist, and, and I believe you've made me a better human being. Thank you very much. And you can't talk about the arts in Quincy without thanking the Oakley Lindsay families. I mean, this show is it. This is the catch me out as, as far as the visual of arts is. Uh, it's, it's a great show. There's usually about 250 entries into the show every year, and they jury it down to about 100. So it's not easy getting in, and it's quite the honor to get in. But it's not just the visual arts. The Oakley Lindsay families sponsor the theater and all kinds of other cultural community events. And the city would be a very different place without them, and I don't believe it would be a good better place. Uh, I hope you, the families uh, realize that uh, what they do for us, they give voice to those of us that can't speak. You allow us to tell stories that we can't write and you allow us to share emotions that we can only hide. Thank you very much and I'm going to get out of the way and let's take a little closer look at the piece. Thank you. 